Um, let's start off with the VapoTherm because that's something that we've started to use again, okay? So you guys tell me, when should we use this? Okay, so we've got a, huh? They're right. Okay. Somebody was just hypoxic. Okay, hypoxic, but also this helps bring down CO2 also. Um, so anybody that's in respiratory distress, anybody that has a pneumonia that has um, some thick secretions that you want to thin because we can heat and liquefy it with the humidity. Um, you know, anybody that's, you're having troubles breathing in, okay? You've got somebody that's not looking well and going down the hill. So you can pull this or we can pull this, right? But what's, what would be kind of the difference between these two? Yeah. This is only to help oxygenation. This will help, most likely help with oxygenation and bring down the carbon dioxide, the waste product. Yeah, okay? So, I don't care if you've got somebody that's crashing on you and doing well, not doing well. I want you to grab, you know, grab one of these. That'll, that'll give you time to maybe get some fluid off of them or something like that, okay? So, with the maple fur, how do we, what, how do I set this up? Do I need oxygen? Do I need air? Well, okay. So, then I need to... Spike, plug it in, um, into electrical. Hmm? Yeah, they do. So, you know, I would say between 20 and 30 minutes. So, we have a cannula in there, right? So then we would place this a cannula on and what settings would I start them on? Hmm, what did she say? Yeah. <laughs> the question I have is, do you want to start at 40 and work down for full? The 40% oxygen, 40, full, and then work down? Or would you rather go low and work up? I want you to start high. Down. You want to start high. Okay, mm -hmm. sure. Yep, I want to start high. And here it'll say 40, 40, and 37%. Okay, for the humidity. should say temperature. One thing I see people forgetting a lot of times is to document the humidity. In that little box there, it'll say humidity. So make sure you document that humidity. This needs to be documented every two hours. <laughs> yep, so and it's usually 37. We have to go to a different flow sheet. Is that what happens yeah. on our flow sheet? Yeah, one of the airway flow sheets instead of just putting it in our flow sheet. Oh, so that's why it gets so forgotten. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's just the Sorry. Okay. So, not right there. I get, and I, I guess I always. Yeah. So I always Thank you. When we do this because we, mm -hmm. we are going there. It's not the same thing. What is missing on the respiratory airway flow sheet? It's not missing on there. It's just not. Oh, that's where it's not. The temperature for this is not on the regular vital sign. Oh, so it's just you that you're looking at the airway flow sheet. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Are you beta taping me? Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not. Look, not everyone gets the opportunity to see you live. So. Oh, you're so kind. <laughs> so, now, another question. Can I, I got this started, it's ready to roll. Do I need to wait to put it on? Yeah. Okay. Now um, you're dying. Yes, let's say no. Okay, <laughs> I know when we got instructed, they said wait for this to get warmer. Mm -hmm. You know, if I've got some crashing, I really don't care if it's cold or warm. Just put it on. Yeah, not if you're dying. Yeah, yeah. Or either way, just put it on. Because you think about it, we put this on and it's cold. So just <laughs> put it on, okay? So I'm gonna have someone hang on to this. So how do I, so now the doctor has ordered a nib. How do I do a nib? Okay, come on up, show me, show me how to do it. I know how it's on the list. Okay, okay. Okay, let's say time here. Now 
see she's putting it in there. It doesn't matter which way it goes. It can go any way you want. This part, do you see this cable? It can go in any way. Dump the medicine in there. Yep. And okay. say if it's you can't turn it on. Hmm, maybe it didn't get plugged in. So you're gonna remember to plug it in. Oh, yeah. Yep. And yep, yep, and then turn it on and the light comes on and it lasts for about about 30 minutes. About 30 minutes yeah. Especially at, um, but sometimes it's done in tan. But one thing I'm gonna tell you, thank you. So now question. I, when it's done, do you have to turn that off? Yep. Oh, it shuts okay. off automatically. After 30 minutes it'll it will shut off. Okay. But sometimes it only takes 10 to 15 minutes, so then shut it off. But you're right, after a certain amount of time, it will shut off. So, but one thing I just want to um, explain to you that sometimes when you stick this in line, you can't tell that it's working because there's so much flow. So what I do is after I've connected my cable, I put my med on in there, I'll turn it on and I can see the mist. Now I know it's working. Before you connect? Yep, and um, then I connect. Just, you guys don't have to, but this, at least you'll know that it's working because sometimes we've had some troubles with this neb. Oh. Not working. Can't we have Can you leave issues? that neb component in there between nebs or does it have to come out every time? I would prefer it comes oh. out. It's just, it's kind of heavy. Mm -hmm. And when you're doing a neb, we should have it straight up. Hold it, it should be straight up. So sometimes you might see that I'll take this to the bed rail so it stays up nice. I noticed too with that high humidity, that was not this moisture going through. Sometimes when it's done, it still looks like there's stuff in it. Well, there shouldn't be a whole oh, lot in no. there. But no. there's moisture. You can see bubbles in there. In it's here? There's moisture. Yeah. yeah, there'll probably be some um, water sitting in here. So um, when we're done, too, we clean it out just like any other nail. We'll take the sailing, we'll dump it in there, rinse it, and then dump it out. Okay? And then put it back in the bag. And to disconnect this side first, because I accidentally did this side first one time, remember? Then they get the, oh, okay, the water. Yeah, you know, just wasn't thinking. It's okay. <laughs> so with that being said, do we, when we are using this, <coughs> say we're using this and the bypass and we're going back and forth, or say we've decided that they can just go onto their cannula. Do I shut this off? No. So we always want to leave it running. We can change the settings back to room air and it'll use a five liters per minute so that you're not running the oxygen and that high flow. And then when you put it back on, then you have to change your settings. Mm -hmm. Or if you don't want to change the settings, you feel comfortable leaving them, I, that's fine. It's just there's going to be noise, a lot of noise, okay? Mm -hmm. um, you ha Also, okay, we set that temp at 37. So say that you notice that they're getting a lot of water out of here and they're constantly blowing them out. You can change that temp down to 35 and that's okay. And when we do that, then they won't have probably quite as much water coming out of there, okay? So questions with this. I mean, it is fairly simple to set up, right? You guys feel comfortable? Pretty fairly simple to set this up. As long as the directions are in the basket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes, and I got to put them, they should really be hanging out here, so I've got to get that so that they hang out here for you guys. And we can just hang it over when they go to the bathroom, put the nasal cannula on, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Sometimes I see people just put the cannula right up here and so forth. But but some think we have to take it, and I know I had a patient that was kind of weird. You know, it depends if they tolerate the cannula. Yeah. If they don't if tolerate they the cannula, it. then yeah, take this with. So any questions that you guys have with using this, the nav, I know there were questions on the nav and how to do the nav. Okay. So, take this, thank you.